Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. I am here with my girlfriend Tori. Hi. And actually about a year ago, I got her a betta fish and a betta fish tank. Actually to ask her to homecoming, here are some pictures of that. But that fish has gotten huge and that tank is only one gallon. So today we're here at PetSmart. We're gonna get a bigger tank for her betta fish. So we are gonna go with the three and a half gallon top fin tank. It runs for $32. It has color changing LEDs. I'm also gonna let her pick out a new decoration. Right now the fish doesn't really have a cover spot, so I think that's what we're looking for. Pink one? Yeah, let's get it. All right. Yeah, the tank right now is kind of like a pink colorful theme, so I think we're gonna stick with that. We're also gonna get one more tall plant. I think this is the one. What do you think of that one? I oh, I grabbed two. Oh, yep. Oh. We got everything we need. Let's get out of here. All right, so we just got done inside of PetSmart. We got the tank. It was actually $20. I guess I was a treats member. So uh, I got $10 off. That's pretty sick. And as you saw, we got the plant and the little rock cover thing. And the plant was three bucks and the rock thing was 10 bucks. You guys probably know aquarium decorations are stupid expensive. But now we're gonna head back to Tori's house and set all this up. So we are back at Tori's house. Here's the fish. Like I said, this fish has easily outgrown this tank. So we're gonna take this guy downstairs and get him situated in his new tank. So now we're going to obviously dump out this water, but then we're going to rinse out all this gravel because we are still going to use this gravel in the new tank. I'm now going to rinse out the new tank. We're going to start filling this tank with the actual water that's going to be in it. I'm going to put the gravel in. We're now going to add in the water conditioner. We're now going to use this tank to just fill the rest of the way. I'm going to rinse off the new decorations. So right here I have the filter from the old tank. I'm gonna take this filter cartridge and put it in here just for a little bit. This will get the nitrogen cycle kind of going, get the beneficial bacteria in the water. I'm actually gonna move the cartridge over to this one because that's actually closer to the output. We're gonna let it run like this for a little bit, probably like 15 to 20 minutes. All right guys, so this filter has been running for about half an hour and now here's the plan. I'm going to put the fish into the new tank and then I'm going to use this water to rinse out these two cartridges. These are the cartridges that actually go with this tank. Generally, when you're putting in new cartridges, it's best to rinse it in old tank water. So that's what we're gonna do.
There we go. And there we go. So we're now gonna go ahead and take this back up to Tori's room. Oh, it's changing. Yeah. And here's a look at the tank. As you can see, it has these color changing LEDs. That looks really cool. And then there's a little control button back here. I think you can get it to like stay with one color. Yeah. And of course, there's all these air bubbles just from the new water. I will be back here in a couple days to show you guys a final look at it without all these air bubbles with the water being crystal clear. But this was a major upgrade for this fish. He has over three times the amount of room that he did before. But with that being said, I'll see you in a couple days. All right guys, it's a week later. I'm back at Tori's house and here's the tank. As you can see, it cleared up quite nicely. There's the beta right there. We're gonna go ahead and feed him real quick. In my opinion, this is a really nice tank for a pretty good price. This was $32 regular, but I apparently was a treats member, so I got it for 20. Again, it's a three and a half gallon tank. It has pretty fancy LED color changing lights. And here's how it works in case you decide to get one of these tanks. So right now it's just on white light. So it's just plain, regular LED light. And then if I press it, it starts to fade. As you can see, it's kind of fading from color to color. But then, say I like a certain color, I press the button again, and it completely locks on that color and it will not change. And then the next time you press it, it goes back to the plain white light. So I think that's pretty neat. I actually think I'm gonna end up getting one of these for myself, for Lou. So be sure to stay tuned for that video. That is gonna wrap up this video and I do have today's comment of the day. And that goes out to Will. Shout out from the UK, bro. Keep doing your thing. Thank you very much, Will. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I I'm gonna see you in the next video. No, that was good. That was fine. No, it wasn't. Okay. Okay, fine. I don't want to do it again. That's fine.